Okay. All right, guys. So, um, first of all, thanks guys for committing to today and, and for the flexibility and starting a couple minutes later. Um, actually want to introduce Lori, my friend, just wave Lori and her husband, Joe. So they um, just became Crystal Consultants and we did a three-way Zoom with Kathy Coover because I really wanted um, Kathy to just share with them how they can share, um, you know, as medical professionals. So um, first, we, Kathy didn't think she was going to be home in time and that's why I was going to have to move the call. Then she said she was. So that's why I was uh, changing the time up. So thanks guys for reading through that and, uh, and logging on. Um, but today I'm not going to be too long. I really want to give you guys an opportunity to maybe ask some questions. And also I wanted to see if there's anybody that wanted to share anything that they're doing that's really working well, um, you know, for sure. So, um, yes, before, thank you, Roz, before we do that, just some shout outs. I see that Roz puts them in here. So, um, yes, Lisa advancing to manager. Congratulations, Lisa. I know your face isn't on, but I see you on the call. So congratulations. We're so excited. And then her new consultant guys actually was sitting on so much volume, staying active. When she became consultant, she cycled 15 times. So her first payday was pretty nice. So it's really great to stay active. Um, Natalie, seven enrollments for the week, for week one of the contest. So she's already got over what she needed for the five enrollment. So that was really great. Um, anything else, any other rank advancements or anything else you guys want to put in there? If not, um, yeah, really great guys. So maybe Natalie, you can even share a little bit of what you're doing, but really quickly, you guys, I just want to make sure everybody understands the Mexico trip. So anybody that actually hits this gets to go to the trip. But I do want to tell you that um, we did have a meeting and they will be looking for like compliance things. So if somebody was like rank advancing somebody and it's like the same credit card was used and it was like happened to be the sponsor, like you basically are putting your credit card and making up people and it's all being shipped to the same place, they will know and you will not go. So um, just want to say, I don't think any of you would think to do that, but just in case you think it's a good idea, it's probably not. It'd probably be pretty embarrassing. So they will be looking at, you know, if it's somebody in the family and you're using your card and it's, they'll obviously um, ask about it first, but they will be looking to make sure nobody kind of cheats their way into this. So they really want it to be earned for real. So five enrollments guys. And, and again, it started September 27th, it goes to November 14th. So your five new enrollments have to have 100 BV and they have to be lifestyle rewards. That's really important um, because I know there's some people I saw in my downline who were having trouble with the promo and it turned out they just weren't ever enrolling anybody with lifestyle rewards. And, you know, it was just people that I, they're so way down and they just weren't, you know, shown that properly. But lifestyle rewards is needed for this contest. So make sure your people also know that because they might be enrolling people and if they're not on lifestyle rewards, they're not actually getting that counted for five. So five new enrollments, 100 BV or more, lifestyle rewards will count. And then four new consultants. So I've had some questions about the consultants. It, it, they can be people that are, have already enrolled, but they can have never um, hit consultant before. So it's okay if they've been enrolled for a while, but if they were consultant and fell off and then came back, they won't count. But if they were you know, an associate that never hit consultant, that works. They can be in your, your system already. Okay. They can be a customer. They can even be like sitting there for two years. It doesn't matter, but it has to be a first time consultant. So four now can um, one of your new enrollments or any of your new enrollments also be counted as new consultants? Yes. Okay. Yes. So if you're just on this, like, Hey, I got a new consultant. I'm helping her become a manager or I got a new customer helping it. They all can count for each category, the same person. Okay. So that's pretty good. And then one personally enrolled manager or above. And again, they can never have hit manager or above. It has to be their first time hitting that rank. And you just hit those things, you earn the trip. So it's just some things, you guys, Mexico does require a passport. So if you don't have one or you need to renew one, you might want to get on that ASAP because I don't know how long that takes, but I think it takes some time. Um, 
if you earn the trip and you can't go, it's December 9th to 12th. If you can't go, the timing's not right, you don't have the passport, whatever, you can opt for $600. So you still get a, a pretty you know, decent bonus. I don't think it's worth the trip, but if you can't go, you still get something. Um, the trip will be an all-inclusive resort. Um, the place is actually on the, um, the website, so you guys can do all that. But you also get $1,000 toward your flights and, and maybe your Uber or whatever. Okay, so $1,000 is only given if you go on the trip, though. So if you don't go on the trip, it's only 600. But if you go on the trip, it's the trip plus 1,000 for your travel. Um, so that's, that's the Mexico trip, guys. So if you're running for the trip, if you're gonna try to, to do it um, and you want kind of to keep accountable, just you know, let me know. Maybe we can kind of do a group thread or something um, you know, to keep, you know, keep each other really excited and keep each other plugged in. Um, also, for just the month of, and Lori, I know you probably don't, didn't start this yet, but we have Leader in Action, which is worksheets to kind of track your business. Um, for this month of October, what they're going to do is they're going to take the points and the top 50 will be considered like the um, in product influencers for, the, for two new products in the skincare line. Before it even launches, you'll get it. So you'll have a chance to test it out call yourself a product ambassador and influencer for the product. So, you know, it's a good, it's a good month to really try to get some points with leader in action. And also um, Lisa, for you, for example, you just hit manager, you can earn manager pool. So you want to track leader in action. You want to know how to do that. So if anybody is not sure how to track that yet, um, then talk to your direct sponsor and say, you know, let's go through this together because it's really important to track those points. And, you know, I kind of make it like, for me, I hold myself accountable. Like my goal is not to have zeros. And I just treat it like if I was working for like a big firm somewhere and they said, you know, this is what you have to do and you can't get a zero and at the end of the year. If you have too many zeros, you're going to be fired. Like I would make it happen, right? Because that's my, my standard of, of the job that I'd be doing. So that's how I kind of see it. It's my standard. I you know, have had months that I zero out, it's okay, but my standard is really that I'm aiming to not have a zero at the end of the month, and it really helps me see where I need to focus on. So for those of you who are really trying to really build a business, it's a really great worksheet because it, it kind of keeps you on track rather than feeling like, you know, I don't know how many people I have enrolled this month, and I don't know how many people I've talked to. I don't know who I'm working with to get to consultant. Like I have all the people I'm working with right on my worksheet. So that's a really great tool to just help organize yourself. So if you're not using that yet and you want to, and you kind of still need a little help, just reach out to me or whoever is your sponsor. Um, also, I know there's a lot of the leaders, directors and above who are doing some one-on-one -on -one Zooms who are offering one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls to help their um, new consultants rank advance and to learn the income producing activities. Take your leaders up on the, those offers, you guys really take them up on it. It could be just a 15 minute call to say like, hey, what should I be doing? Or how does my social media look? Am I posting the right things? Or, or even where do I find things? Can you help, can you get on Zoom and show me where do I find the social media isogenic stuff? Where do I find the videos I should be using? How do I organize myself? You know, things like that. So take your personal leader who's offering them, because I know quite a few of the leaders are offering those, and, and book them with them. Um, so before I'm going to, I'm going to ask if there's any questions because I really want to make this more interactive, but is there anybody, um, who feels like you're doing something that's kind of working for you, or maybe you want to share something that you've tried that you find to be successful? Um, just so I, you know, we can all kind of hear what each other is doing. I'll go. Thank you, Roz. Yeah. Um, so most of you guys know I work a, a corporate job from whatever time to whatever time every day. And, and I think what I've been most successful with guys is, is just, you've got to ask people, right? Like, like I am not out like actively prospecting, going from door to door to door to door, you know, kind of like a saleswoman every day, but I interact with people at work. I interact with people at the grocery store, like that type of thing. And I'll just give you an example. I was on a team training last week um, we had about 50 people on there and it was 
the, the subject is irrelevant, but it was on mental health. And we had one of our um, colleagues in Texas who I had actually never met. She's new to um, our workspace. And she was just asking our expert questions because she had just gone through a health crisis and her doctor had asked, uh, wants to put her on an anti-inflammatory diet and that type of thing. And it was associated with mental health. So she was asking all of these questions and I immediately, as soon as she said, doctor wants me on anti-inflammatory diet, I immediately just went in our little chat because you can you know, do a one-to-one -one and just said, hey girl, we got to talk. I own a nutrition business outside of you know, We Think, which is where I work. Um, I think I can help you. Do you want to get together afterwards? Literally by the time the phone call was over, I had all her information. I had already sent her the, the video and the following day she signed up. So it's kind of like, guys, if you're, sometimes it's really hard to know how to ask, but if you're just interacting with people, just listen, because you'll hear them spill everything. You'll hear them say how tired they are or how they've lost their job or they're stressed out or they're, you just listen. You'll hear people even in the grocery store, right? You'll be walking along and you just overhear something and I'll be like, oh, Oh my gosh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you totally should just come do what I do. My life was changed. Here's my picture. And then they might look at me and be like, you what? You are really weird. And I'm like, okay, never mind. It's nice to meet you. Goodbye. Go off down my aisle. But it's like, you just can't make it weird. And you just got to ask and be brave because if people think you're weird, who cares? I am. Who cares? And if they say no, who cares? Right? but they might just say yes. And I have a brand new person um, in enrollment, which went towards Mexico last week. So all I'm just going to say on that is guys, just listen to everybody talking around you and be brave enough to say, oh my God, we've got a chat. This is what I do. Because I think sometimes we get scared to be like, oh, cut. oh I, own, I own a business. It's network marketing. Oh, oh my God. Like, I don't know. I always think of it like if someone walks in, if you're an orthopedic surgeon, right? And somebody walks in and, and starts complaining about this awful knee injury that they've got, right? You're, you're not going to be like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. You're going to be like, oh, I can so help you. Here's my number. Go book with my secretary, right? Cause you're going to want to make money off of them and you're going to want to make them feel better. We're no different. If someone has a need, why aren't you asking them to set up an appointment with you? Right. So just don't be scared. Be brave. Just ask. That, that's mine. I don't know if it's working super well, but I found that just doing it kind of like almost off the cuff works really well because you're authentic with it. So. Yeah. Thank you, Roz. I actually had a, in a situation just yesterday in a, a woman that I just met from the new school. She picked me up to go to the volleyball game and she started talking to me about how she needs to lose weight and she can't. And I'm like, okay, but I, you know, and I'm not going to try to scare off a new friend, but I said, listen, I, I could help you with that. That's what I do. And she's like, that's what you do. I'm like, yeah, the company I'm talking to that I always talk about, I said, it's a health and wellness company. Like I, it could completely reset your metabolism. I said, no pressure. I don't want you to feel like, you know, obligated to try it, but if you want help, it's a money back guarantee. I'd love to help you. And she was really interested. And I just, I just offered like it's something I do and, and help, but I was very clear about, you know, if it's not for you or if you don't want to try it, please don't feel obligated. But I do, I do want to tell you that I can help you with that. And I've gone through that before and it works really well. And so, you know, I think it's just those opportunities, like Roz said, like that we're listening to people's pain points and we're just offering to help and make it about them, not about you. And you won't feel weird. I think we feel weird when we make it about us. We're worried about you know, how are we going to sound? What if they think this? And it's really not genuinely trying to help somebody if we're thinking that. So just kind of maybe shift that mindset. That was excellent, Roz. Does anybody else have anything they want to share that they're doing that they feel might be working or something they've, they've had a breakthrough with or anything? I'll share. Go ahead, Lise. Um, I think, honestly, just being really consistent with social media has really helped me a lot. You know, since I had a little social media makeover recently and being more consistent, I've had more people actually reach out to me and say, I've been meaning to, you know, get with you for a while. I'm seeing that you're doing this. And so I think just consistency. 
and yeah. being authentic when you're doing it. Yeah, I think that's really great. And in fact, you know, if you guys, if you aren't like following Lacey or friends, go look at her page. She does a very good job. And so we always want to like learn from each other and see what people are doing that's working. And if like people are reaching out to Lacey, then we should maybe look and see how she's showing up on social media. Is that right? And you're doing a lot of stories. You're putting on a story. Yeah. And the lives I think are really beneficial. I always get more interaction after a live. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah. And so if you are somebody that has been like, I really should do lives. Maybe that's your sign that it's just like, just do it. Let's start it this week and pick a day and it could be about anything and, or go to check out Lacey's page and see what she's doing, how long they are, because she is um, growing quickly and she's a lot of people are reaching out to her. So we always want to learn from each other. I think when we just another, just tip for lives too. And Lacey, you did, I mean, you look gorgeous in your lives, but there's a lot of lives that you do too, where you're not super dressed up. You know what I mean? Either. And when I've done lives too, a lot of the time I'm always like, after I come back from my workout, that's when I'm like full of energy and I want to do something. And so usually on my hair's back and I'm sweaty and I've got my workout gear on and you just talk, right? You just do it. And people see you and they feel you. Like if I got on there and I was all made up and I had all that, like, they're going to be like, that's not Roz. This is Roz. The one that she's all sweaty. She comes on at seven o'clock in the morning, waking me up and you know, talking about that. And Lacey, you're right. I think that's where you get the most um, interaction is when you're just you and you're just talking to the people that, that watch you. So. Yeah. Um, just naturally, whenever some, you know, however you are appearing that day when we're living the lifestyle, you know, there's times when I'll just like, Oh, I'm just going to get out my tripod and hook up my phone. Cause I want to share this. So being authentic with it. Yeah. And you know, remember guys, when you're thinking social media, you're utilizing this free tool because you want people to get to know, like, and trust you. I can't say that enough. When people ask, like, they're so hung up about social media. It's, you're only trying to have people get to know, like, and trust you. You're not trying to sell them things. You're not trying to put your website or say, you know, buy the shake and here's my link for the shake. You want to think of it as what can I post so people get to know me so that they can like me, so they trust me. Because that's when people, they connect with people who they know, like, and trust. So if you just think of it that way, it could kind of help a lot. And then also check out your own page. If somebody that you just met, like went on your page, would they get an insight of who you are and what you do and what you stand for and what you're about? Or would they just see things shared and memes and have no idea what you look like? Um, you know, even maybe your profile picture isn't a picture of you. Like think about, you've got to think of social media a little bit differently when you want attraction marketing. You know, it just has to be something and it, and it might take some time, but people have revamped their social media. Um, actually, Lacey, you completely revamped yours with, within weeks. So it doesn't have to take a ton of time to really revamp. So thanks, guys. That was great. Um, Natalie, did you want to share? I think you had, because Natalie had seven new enrollments. So I think maybe if you can share what you've done. Sure. Hi, guys. Um, so I chatted with... Siobhan, is that how you say your name earlier today? Um, was telling her what I did, she was asking also. So pretty much I've just been going into local salons and boutiques, hair salons and boutiques, like clothing boutiques and things like that that are local to me, and just talking about the elixirs, mainly the collagen. Um, so I had a lot of traction with that and I've set up some in salon events. I've also been in a chiropractor's office and set up events there. So I felt that that in-person event with showcasing the collagen has been really helpful for me and given me a lot of traction. This last weekend I did um, Pink Out Wax Off fundraiser for breast cancer. Um, I was given that or possibility by one of the salons that I approached. She told me that she was doing that and now we're doing an in-person event um, in two weeks in her salon. Um, that was a great event also because it wasn't just for um, salons. It was, you know, all of Waxaw that was coming through there. So that was nice to be seen with only, it was, I think it was only six other vendors with me. Um, so that was a lot of traction for me too. And then it just so happened that this week I had partnered up with a girl that I had met on social media um, who is another direct sales uh, for a clothing boutique. And she invited me to do a shopping event. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I've done these before. I know how they go. I'm at the higher price point. I'm not sure how it'll go, but 
yes, I'm interested. So we did it. Um, I only had to pay like, I think $18 to split up the $150 prize that they were offering to our um, customers. We each had to invite at least 50 people. So we have like 450 people in this group. Um, and I, I mean, that's where the majority of the enrollments came from. They just, they were interested and you were sharing each other's network. So it was nice and I was helping them. I know customers and friends of mine were buying from them. Um, so it was a great way to help each other. And that's something to look at too. If you have somebody on um, as a connection that does those types of things, it really works well. And Natalie, you posted, so in the group, cause I'm, you invited me in, so I saw, so you posted some great things. I mean, she put like 11 day shred. And she had before and after pictures. She put the collagen picture. She put a video, the videos up that were short. And, and I saw like there were people like commenting on it. They were really interested in more information. Those pictures, people seeing like results really speak volumes. And I saw like all of the activity you had on that too. So um, yeah, yeah great it, job, Natalie. That was great. It was really a great group. So if anybody's interested, I mean, I can show you my post in there and um, I can connect you with somebody like that. I mean, you just kind of, maybe she knows other people, you know, they, she just organizes it or maybe you can organize one yourself and just connect with other vendors and kind of set it up like she did. And it really works great. I think it was a, successful. Yeah. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, anybody else have anything they want to share that they've done that worked really well, or does anybody have a question or something that there's might be struggling with that they want to ask about? Um, okay. So I'll just share something that, um, I thought was really good that Kathy Cooper said on the call to Lori and Joe, um, I wrote it down. So she suggested that they lead with the business. And that um, when they talk about it, and you guys, if you wrote notes, you could kind of add to this, but something like, um, you know, I, I just partnered with this health and wellness business. And basically, Lori's story is she's just kind of um, burnt out of mainstream medicine and just isn't as aligned with it as she used to be. It's been 22 years. And so she's really more passionate about holistic health and really healing from the inside out. So she would share that. And, and because of that, I partnered with this health and wellness company. I'm, I really am excited to earn this extra income and create um, another source of income for my family. And then she said, they have top quality products, um, high integrity. I'm, I'm with a team of mentors that are so successful and they have products for, what did she say? She said like they have beauty products, like an amazing collagen. They have things for stress. They have um, the best weight loss system in the world. And they also have performance. What excites you? So that's what, what she would say to her friends is what excites you? And ask them. She, so she's talking about the business. And oh, and, it, and then she said to say, um, I'm looking for people who are also looking to diversify their income. Sorry, that was a really important part. I forgot. My puppy was kind of like running. Rod's chasing the puppy around while I'm trying to right. think straight. Um, but that's what she said. Um, so let me kind of re rewind it pitch the business. I, you know, she would share her story. This is what I'm doing right now because, and I am looking for some people to join this who are looking to also diversify their income. We have top quality products of high integrity, and I'm working with a team of great mentors who are super successful at this. And the products include the best weight loss system, a collagen beauty products, um, things for stress, immune system, performance. So what excites you? So I thought that was really good that Kathy said. And so I wanted to share that too. And so she was really urging um, Joe and Lori to kind of have that top down method, like talking about the business and then why, you know, why they're partnering with the business because of the high quality products, telling what like um, the topics of the products are. So the performance, beauty, helping with stress, weight loss, what excites you most? So that's a really good conversation to have with, oh my gosh, it was just hilarious. Rod was just chasing Darcy around this, this whole time. I think he got her, so she's going to bed. But, um, but yeah, so I thought that was just really um, good, good advice and the way that she worded that. Um, I'm looking for people who also want to diversify their income. And so because Lori and Joe have a network of other medical professionals, right, they're going to be talking to nurses and, you know, maybe other people who would align with what they're saying, that they're just burnt out. They don't have as much faith in 
you know, mainstream medicine. They're, they're really more passionate about holistic health, healing from the inside out. And they found this company with an amazing compensation plan where they can earn an income online. And they're looking for people who also want to diversify their income. Doesn't that sound so great? And then you name a couple like um, genres of the products and then you say, what excites you most? So that was just something I wanted to share too. But that was really it, guys. I just wanted to kind of recap the contest, um, see if anybody had questions, and um, thank you guys for sharing. And if anybody else has anything, they're doing that's working uh, to share that. But I think it's really just a matter of, you know, continue on with those conversations. Like Roz said, just listen for ways to help people and make it about them. And um, just really put yourself out there. And and don't like hold back, don't overthink this. Um, you know, again, like I've always said in the past, like find ways to say, you should do what I do. And you're listening to people talk, if they're complaining about anything, they're tired, they're afraid to get sick, they put on weight, they don't have enough money, they can't afford this. Oh, that's so expensive. You guys, it's, it's people are having these conversations all the time and all you have to say is, you should do what I do. You should look into what I'm doing. Something like that. They'll say, well, what are you doing? And you say, you know, it might be for you, it might not. I'd love to send you information, but it's a really great way to diversify your income or it's a great way that I'm actually earning income online in the pockets of my time. It's a health and wellness company that has cutting edge products. And if it's something that they're mentioning that they need a solution for, you know, oh, you should do what I do. I used to also feel tired every day at three o'clock and then I started with superfood nutrition and I could send you the information if you're open to taking a look. If not, no pressure and just, don't get attached to the outcome, but I bet you if you really listen, people are actually saying things that are door openers and you're just not jumping in on it. And I understand. And I know sometimes, you know, we kind of hold ourselves back. And I'll tell you, last night I was in that position and I even remember in my mind thinking, you know, you can help her. Why would I be worried that she's, I mean, we're friends now. We've hung out quite a few times right? Why am I worried? And I just said, I can help you with that. It's, it's, you know, I've been doing this for eight years. It's really a successful program. It comes with a money back guarantee, no pressure. If you want to try it, let me know. And she was really open to it, but you know, you have to just get comfortable talking about it so that you don't get, you don't um, come off weird because you're so uncomfortable. And I think that's where it stems from. So the more that you just are very authentic, again, all you need to know is what you know for sure, and that is what it has done for you. And anything else you could send. Don't get caught up in feeling you need to know everything, right? So, um, you know, I'll just end with just something that you guys have heard before, but I know there's a few new people on, and, you know, it's just what, what I know for sure. Anytime that you are getting caught up in feeling like you don't know enough information and you're talking to somebody, say, this is what I know for sure. And then you follow by what you know for sure. This is what I know for sure. I have tried so many other products for energy and weight loss and nothing has made me feel like this. And these products were great. And I know it comes with a money back guarantee. And I know it's backed by science. I'd love to just send you some information. And that's it. You don't have to feel like you need to give like every single detail to them and you know, know the manufacturing and the, you know, it just, it's not important what I know for sure. And if you just remember that phrase, it'll kind of calm your nerves when you're talking to people. Well, this is what I know for sure. I used to carry 10 pounds extra on me for years. Nothing got it off until I tried this program. It comes with a money back guarantee. You have lots of support and accountability. It works great. Or the collagen. This is what I know for sure. I've tried other collagens and nothing's really made a difference. I tried this collagen elixir. It's been a few months. I have hydration in my skin. My hair is going back. My nails are stronger. And it comes with a money back guarantee. If you want the information, I would love to send it to you. And that's it. And just if we have more conversations like that over and over again, just like Ross said, there's going to get yeses in there. If there are no, it's okay. The answer is always no and we don't ask. So um, I just want to tell you guys that if you are going for Mexico, you know, it's, it's truly doable. It's really doable. It's just a matter of getting very crystal clear in what you're trying to do. Who are you working with? Right? Who are you going to help rank advance and making it happen? 
And really, you have the power to make it happen. You really do. If other people can do it, you can do it. Right? It's, it's honestly just comes down to how many conversations you have, how many people you're reaching out to, and getting into action now because, you know, the weeks go by fast. So if we're not in action, we're not planting seeds, we're not making connections, time goes by and we just look back and think, oh man, I could have actually reached out to a lot more people. So um, thank you guys so much again for, for hopping on. And again, if, you know, those who are newer, um, please reach out if there's something like, you know, I really want to learn more about this, this, or this. And, you know, the other thing is isogenicsbusiness.com is great. There's all the training that you know, that you can even want is in there. But if there is something really specific that you're looking for, just reach out. If there's something, you know, you want to get more confident with the products, maybe you want to hear doctors talking about the products. We have all that stuff. So um, just whatever it is that you feel is going to build your belief meter up, um, just add that into your weekly, you know, schedule that you're going to build your belief every week and that you're going to, you know, whatever skill you want. If it's, just learning the products, if it's how to connect to people, if it's social media skills, just focus on what you think you need most and, and commit to it and commit to it. But thank you guys again for, for um, hopping on and um, let's just keep each other posted on the Mexico trip. Again, if you're really truly like, you know what, I am going for it and you want to um, maybe like find a way to stay accountable, we can maybe, you know, do something. I don't know. I'll think about it, but I just want to see who's going for it first before I, I do that. But um, Again, passports are needed. So I did want to make sure everybody knows that, okay? Because if you don't have a passport, you're going to need one. And you might want to look into that tonight if you're going for it. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye, everybody.